I want to tell you a little story about a golfer you all know. And a bunch of kids who love golf too. And how he helped that love grow. There comes an important time in nearly every PJ Tour player's life. A time to take stock and remember the people and places that helped them get to golf's pinnacle. I grew up in Nashville. It's part of who I am. I live within a 10 minute radius pretty much my whole life. State Tennessee has been a huge part of who I am as a person. It's been a huge part of my career. I try to make sure that people realize I try to do stuff the right way and, and I want to reflect Tennessee golf the right way. For Tennessee native Brant Snedeker, that time is now, and the place is his own backyard. His hair may be crazy, and he may speak really fast, but he has an eye on our future by staying true to his past. The past for Snedeker included honing his skills on his home state's junior golf tours, where he was a two-time Tennessee State Junior Player of the Year. Junior golf in the state of Tennessee was kind of where I cut my teeth and where I learned how to compete, how to play great golf courses against some of the best competition in the country and taught me a lot about how to win and lose and do stuff the right way and it's a big part of the reason why I am where I am. He was a good young man growing up, did all the right things, never put on any airs. With Brant, you get what you see. He's a hometown boy, he's never forgotten that. So I remember my first big event was winning the Tennessee State Junior 13-year-old division. First time I really won something of any magnitude. This junior golf tour in the state did a lot to help me get that confidence where I could go out and be competitive on a national scale and get in college and so on and so forth. From there, it was Vanderbilt and later the PGA Tour, where fame and fortune would eventually come in the form of seven wins, including the 2012 FedEx Cup and this season's AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. I love to watch Brett Snedeker play golf. I like his aggressiveness with the game and I like his short game. He seems like a really cool and fun guy, and then also the way he plays and how he always keeps his composure. Just always grinds. His short game's really good, his putting's amazing, and you can always tell like he's giving it his all. That's something that I really look up to and try to do myself. It shows you you can come from anywhere as long as you work hard and set goals and have motivation. You can make it anywhere, and you can become like Brent Snedeker. <laughs> It was so fun to watch. Our hometown guy setting the bar. The times were tough back at home. Our little tour needed our star. In 2014, the Tennessee Golf Association Tour, which since 1990 has provided young golfers the chance to compete in tournaments in various age groups around the state. And the one static, once dominated, lost its main sponsor and to survive would need to raise both membership fees and entry fees. You got faith that things fall in place for you. He was, I think, looking for something to kind of call his own. We had, I thought, the perfect vehicle. He just said, you all know what you're doing. I, I want to be a part of it. It's the right person at the right time. To have this ability to kind of put my name on it and let these kids know that I'm still involved with them. I'm, I'm rooting them on 100% and, and want them to be successful. And I've been overwhelmed by the magnitude of support I've had from the kids that have played it. So through the Brandt and Mandy Snedeker Foundation, which lends its help to various Tennessee children's charities, including our kids, the Sneds Tour was born. I said, Brent, what do you want to see out of the tour? And he said, one, I want it to be affordable. I want the kids to pay as little as they can because I didn't have a lot of money growing up. Hey man, how you doing? Good to see you. You want to get a picture? Yeah. Come on in. I want the kids to see golf as accessible to play. This was a win-win, easy situation for us to get involved in. Our goal over the next four or five years is making this more affordable, making this more available to more kids, and trying to get as many kids in here as possible to play. Thank you. Perfect. No problem. Thanks for playing. He paved the way for all the junior golfers. He played in the same tournaments that we're playing in excelled, did well, and we're just trying to follow in his footsteps. That's a lot of motivation because I know that if he can do it, then I can be just like him. But he's a, good, he's a great role model to follow. To have a name like that, the Smith Store, it gives you motivation to play up, to become like him, and see that it's possible to make it from anywhere. Our tour would go on. Dreams alive in our heads. Junior golf thrives in the volunteer state. All thanks to our man Sneds. To our man Sneds. To our man Sneds. I have my name on that tour is so special and 
is something that, that I take very seriously and want to make sure that kids enjoy it, they have a great time doing it, and that we move Tennessee golf going forward in a great direction and, and try to get as many kids out there beating me as, as soon as possible. <laughs>